GTX 1630 has officially launched from NVIDIA. And in this video, we will talk about the 5 aftermarket variants for the card that you should check out. Starting off, we have the colorful Battle Axe. While nothing special is going on with the card's design, it's quite distinctive compared to the other variants. Clockwise, we have 1740 MHz of base and 1850 MHz of boost clock speed on this thing. Having a 64-bit memory bandwidth, this card only has 4GB of VRAM which, although might struggle running recent game titles, will get the job done of regular content consumption. For the display output, it has a total of 3, one DVI dual link port, one DisplayPort 1.4 and a single HDMI 2.0 port. So we can say that the card is quite versatile in terms of connectivity. Thankfully, this card is PCIe 3.0 compatible, has a 6-pin power connector and draws only about 75 watts of power to function. Compared to the other aftermarket variants, the colorful Battle Axe is quite the decent one. Gigabyte has also joined the 1630 bandwagon with its 1630 OC low-profile card. As the name suggests, it boasts a low-profile shroud with a length of only about 167mm which makes it perfect for low-profile PC builds. Other than that, it has a core clock speed of 1800MHz which is slightly better than the reference card's 1785MHz of clock speed. Even after being a low-profile card, it incorporates a total of 4 display connections that include one Dual Link DVI, two HDMI and one DisplayPort 1.4 port. With specs and designs such as these, we expect to see the Gigabyte OC Low Profile card to be used in lots of pre-built PCs. Next up, we have the EVGA GeForce GTX 1630 SC that boasts a sleek crowd, moderate performance of the original card and a somewhat compact form factor. As mentioned earlier, the shroud of the 1630 card does appear cool. It has a gunmetal color grade to it which combined with the 120mm fans gives this card a premium vibe. Moving on to its internal features, it shares the same specs as the base 1630 model with 512 CUDA and 1785MHz of boosted clock speed. Other than that, it has two DisplayPort 1.4 and one HDMI 2.0 board which is quite ok too. For clean, aesthetic PC builds, the EVGA SC is worth considering. We also have the Tough Gaming OC by Asus, a robust variant of the GTX 1630 GPU with greater cooling performance and durability. This all-aluminum shrouded GPU has an Axial Tech fan design where the longer fan blades are slimmed down for better airflow and cooling array. You'll get about 1850 MHz clock speed in gaming mode and can even crank it up to a maximum of 1845 MHz in overclock mode to squeeze up that extra bit of frames. And as for display ports, you get one of each. One DVI-D dual link port, one HDMI 2.0 and one DisplayPort 1.4 port. Whatever interface your monitor is, you're less likely to face any issue. To sum things up, the Tough Gaming OC is a sturdy one with a better thermal solution, increased durability and improved power efficiency. And finally, we have the Polite Dual OC, Polite's own take on the 1630 model that's focused solely on performance. This GPU shares plenty of design features with the EVGA model with an all-black shroud and a dual fan design. It's only 170mm in length, making it ideal for compact builds just like most other 1630 variants. But what's unique about this card is its zero decibels feature that automatically switch off the fan under light to no workloads. Also, you get one HDMI 2.0 and two DisplayPort 1.4 ports on this card that will let you work with multiple displays. To sum things up, the Polite Dual OC is an ideal card for those who are into low noise components that don't compromise performance. So, that was all about the GTX 1630 GPUs. Thanks for watching. If you found this video to be helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and comment below to let us know your thoughts. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon if you want to see more videos like this on your feed.